So let's have a look at all, how it all ties together. Uh, what we have here is a production possibility curve for an economy similar to New Zealand, but not exactly the same, which produces trees and cows. And currently that point there, the red dot, represents a point of unemployment. If you look at the labour market in the same country over here, uh, you'll see that you have an equilibrium price that's fairly low for labour, and you've also got um, unemployment represented by that arrow going up to the formal employment line. Uh, demand for labour is of course derived, and if people aren't buying goods and services, then employers have got no need to hire them. They don't want to hire them because the demand for workers is determined by the amount of goods and services that they sell, the derived demand. So these two points match up. On uh, When you track the economy over time and you've got uh, growth on one axis or GDP on one axis and time in years, you'll see the economies at the bottom of the business cycle here. And how these tie together over time is that as incomes start to increase, the economy moves closer to the production possibility frontier and at the same time over here you'll see that unemployment starts to fall as the economy goes up uh, on that sort of expansion path over time and as it moves closer and closer to the PPC you'll see that unemployment decreases as consumers buy more goods and services and therefore employers are selling more goods and services so they need more labour they demand more labour in order to um, manufacture the goods and services and that sort of cycle virtuous cycle continues and then the economy peaks and at some point uh, it starts to slow down again when people uh, stop buying and in the case of the global financial crisis they uh, lost wealth uh, lost confidence in the future and stopped spending and when they stopped spending employers had no need to hire workers anymore so the demand for labour fell off and as a doubt that fed into PPC and the, the, these two models feed into each other and you'll see that the demand for labour goes down and eventually it bottoms out at the bottom of the business cycle and then the cycle repeats again. Unemployment falls off, the economy peaks, then uh, for whatever reason incomes fall and then the demand for labour falls because people aren't buying goods and services and it goes through a peak again. You'll need to of course take a closer look at the labour market because it doesn't look exactly like it does in that diagram. There are issues with voluntary and involuntary employment, unemployment, which I haven't shown. There are also issues as the demand for labour falls off and wages don't fall that, uh, that may exacerbate unemployment even more.